Amen. Glory to the King. Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to share this thought. Amen. That was lit up on my heart this morning. I was just meditating. Um, coming from John 21. Amen. And 20 it says, Then Peter turning about, see a disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper. Verse 21 says, Peter seeing him said to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Glory be to God. What is thou to thee? Follow thou me. And as I was just praying this morning, amen, and I know, amen, this right here can be a true stumbling block to others, amen, as we begin to look upon others' lives and see what other people are doing and not doing, it can sometimes become a burden. It can sometimes cause you, amen, to lose your focus on the ultimate plan and the ultimate goal for your life. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Don't worry about what everybody else is not doing. Hallelujah. But do what God has told and called you to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You know, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we can take our eyes off of God and put our eyes on man and get distracted because what man is doing or not doing. We might think they should be doing this or they should be doing that or they shouldn't be doing this or they shouldn't be doing that. My God, hallelujah. But God is the one. Amen. He is the judge of man. Let God handle each and every one according to their works. My God, it's not for us. Hallelujah. To put them in a category. It's it's not for us to try to issue out, amen, blessings or issue out, amen, glory be God, damnation, hallelujah. God told Peter, don't worry about what this man is to do and what this man is not to do. He just told Peter, amen, you continue, amen, to follow me. You continue to do what I have instructed and told you to do. Glory be to God, hallelujah. And I know sometimes this can be discouraged when you see that you're doing all that you can. When you're serving God, hallelujah, mind, body, and soul, and you see others that's not working as hard as you as you work or you think you're working. If you see others, hallelujah, not living a dedicated, sick, set aside life, my God, unto God, hallelujah, thank you, God. And then you're saying, God, it seemed like they're, they're getting ahead or it seemed like, hallelujah, they never have problems or it seemed like the blessings of God is upon their lives. I just don't understand. They're not doing what I'm doing. They're not serving you how I'm serving, hallelujah. They're not loving you like I'm loving you, my God my God. God is the judge of every man. And he told Peter, glory be to God, because Peter was asking, glory be to God. I think he was asking this out of a little bit of envy and a little bit strife because he said this, hallelujah, is the disciple, hallelujah, that leaning upon Jesus' breast. Amen. He was close to, he was close to Jesus when he walked this earth. And he was saying, my God, what is he to do? Amen. Why is he not doing what I think he should be doing? God said, don't worry about it. If I just tell him to tarry till I come, meaning if I don't tell him to do anything, but just wait on me. Hallelujah. You do your part. My God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I thank and praise God for placing it on my heart this morning. And I just want to encourage y'all's heart. Amen. Don't get weary and well doing. You're going to reap if it faint not. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Hallelujah. Just walk your, hallelujah, your path. You walk your path. Fulfill your destiny and your purpose. Hallelujah. Here on earth. And let God, my God, hallelujah, reward you according to your work shall be. And not worrying about the next man. Hallelujah. Put your eyes on God. Put your eyes on God and not man. Keep your eyes on God. Hallelujah. Keep your eyes on God and not man. Not worried about what others are doing, but you do what he has called you to do in these last and evil days. I love you. May heaven forever smile upon you is my prayer. Thank you, God.